Hi friends in our initial part we perceived how the taliban was formed the taliban are believed to be one of the richest insurgent groups on the planet and following 20 years of battling us and partner forces the militants presently control afghanistan so how do the taliban support themselves this will be our chitta story for today As per BBC interviews that were completed inside Afghanistan and abroad, the gathering or running a refined monetary organization and tax assessment framework. They have developed a number of income sources. Let's look into some of the main ones. The first source of income is foreign donations. A few Afghan and US authorities have since a long time ago charged certain nations including Pakistan, Iran and Russia of giving monetary guide to the Taliban. This is a training they habitually deny. Be that as it may, private residents from Pakistan and a few Gulf nations including Saudi Arabia, the UAE and Qatar are viewed as the biggest individual givers. According to experts, it might be just probably as much as 500 million dollars consistently. The other source of income is drug trade. The Taliban have for some time been thought to run a tax assessment framework to cover their radical tasks remembering for the illicit medication exchange. Afghanistan is the world's biggest maker of opium which can be defined to make heroin. With an expected yearly fare worth 1.5 to 3 billion US dollars, opium is enormous business providing the mind boggling larger part of heroin around the world. A 10% development charge is gathered from opium ranchers as per Afghan government authorities. Obligations are in like manner purportedly gathered from the research focuses changing over opium into heroin similarly as the dealers who sneak the unlawful prescriptions. Next, expanding areas of control. The Taliban's financial network is far more extensive than merely opium taxes. In an open letter published in 2018, the Taliban urged Afghan traders to pay taxes on a variety of items including fuel and construction materials when passing through territories held by them. Following the overthrow of the Afghan government, the Taliban now control all of the country's key commerce routes as well as border crossings. Over the past two decades, A significant amount of western money has also unintentionally ended up in Taliban pockets. Firstly, the Taliban have taxed development and infrastructure projects including roads, schools and clinics mostly funded by the west. Secondly, the Taliban are thought to have made millions of dollars annually from taxing truckers supplying international forces stationed in various parts of the country. They are also thought to have made a significant amount of money from services provided by the Afghan government. and there is also income generated directly from conflict each time the taliban captures a military post or an urban center they empty treasuries and seizes crores of weapons as well as cars and armored vehicles their other source of income is mines and minerals afghanistan is rich in minerals and precious stones many of which are untapped as a result of years of conflict according to afghan government officials The mining industry in Afghanistan is estimated to be worth 1 billion dollars annually. Most of the extractions are small in size and are done illegally. The Taliban took control of the mining sites and extorted money from the ongoing legal and illegal mining operations. In its 2014 annual report, the UN Analytical Support and Sanctions Monitoring Team said that the Taliban received more than 10 million dollars annually from 25 to 30 illegal mining operations in the southern Helmand province that's all viewers please like share and comment on the video and subscribe to our channel for more videos bye bye